Hey, all, this is Brian Graves here. I'm the chaplain at hleradio.com. Uh, it's been very exciting the last month uh, actually taking this position and then uh, seeing what God's doing with it. There's so much going on at HLE Radio and uh, just the blessing it has been to meet so many people all over the world, literally. Um, just Hong Kong and Philippines and uh, Scotland and uh, Iraq and the U.S., all over the U.S. And uh, I, I honestly thought that I was just uh, going to be able to meet people through email and uh, pray for their needs. And uh, I was excited about doing that. And uh, God has just opened the doors to do so much more with this, uh, this opportunity. Uh, I'm just a, a normal person, working guy. Uh, I grew up in church, and uh, but I didn't actually receive Christ until I was 19 years old. And uh, my dad was a preacher, and uh, it's just been a journey. I tell you, it's been a journey. But uh, I've served in church in many different ways, and but I got tired of religion. Uh, uh, you, you do need religion, uh, but not religion as in a a set of rules that. Um, uh, you know, that's what governs your life. You need a relationship with the Lord uh, and a fire in your heart about that relationship with the Lord. And uh, so God's just worked in my life in so many different ways. And I've gone through so many different struggles that I've been able to help people with. Uh, looking back, I wonder why in the world God allowed these things. to <laughs> Why me? You know, <laughs> uh, but and now looking back, uh, I wouldn't trade uh, one of them for for anything because I see that God's allowed me to relate to people going through the same struggles that I've been through. Um, I was able to go out and sing and, and play and and represent the radio station this past weekend at the Honky Tonk and Opry in Micanopy, Florida. And it's just been, I tell you, it's just been a, a blast. And the, the staff area at HLE Radio are just unbelievable, um, dedicated to God, mission-minded, and speaking of mission and revival, the C4 uh, concert revival that is coming up, man, I tell you what, God is definitely planning that because we couldn't possibly do that. <laughs> uh, no one could do what God is doing with that, and it's making it very evident. Uh, but it's exciting to do this, and I guess the reason why I wanted to do this first video, um, not really to, to jump into a big, deep Bible study or anything, but I just wanted to introduce myself and let you know uh, who I am, what I'm about, what I'm doing. I was a pastor at a cowboy church for three years, um, up to 2013, and now it's 2014, and uh, have started this great new adventure as the HLE radio chaplain. Um, I drive a oil truck uh, during the week. I work about 80 hours a week and have a crazy schedule. I get up about 1.30 in the morning and go to bed about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night, something like that. So uh, I'm, I'm available a lot of time <laughs> during the day. Uh, no matter where you are around the world, uh, I get up in the middle of the night in the U.S., so that's been the middle of the day <laughs> over on the other side of the world. So uh, you can Instagram me. You can Facebook me. You can Twitter me. I... I'm just learning Twitter uh, and trying to navigate my way around that. Probably the best way and the quickest way to get a hold of me is uh, friend me on Facebook and then just use Instant Messenger and I can get that on my phone in a, anywhere I'm at. And man, it would be a privilege to be able to, to talk to you and to uh, pray for you and encourage you in the Lord. And I look forward to doing more uh, videos. We'll, we'll do Bible studies and we'll have fun and... Uh, uh, just looking forward to God doing a great, great work through this uh, new source of contact with you. Thanks, and God bless. And you know what? Before I go, I want to I want to leave you with something uh, that one of our sh fr friends uh, shared on Facebook uh, today. Awesome scripture. I just love this scripture. It's uh, Psalms 91, uh, 1 through 2. Psalms 91, 1 through 2. It says... He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge 
my fortress, my God, in whom will I trust? And that is what I am all about. That's who I trust in. He, I, I'm going to abide in his shadow and I'm going to have a relationship with him first and foremost above anything else in my life. I want that fire and I want you to have it too. God bless y'all. See you next time.